Yo, what is going down, everybody? It's your boy, the Saucman X, back with another video. But you already see it by the title. This is going to be a video that I'm going to be making about religion. Now, I know that this is going to be a very, very, very controversial video, but at the end of the day, I feel like I need to get some more shit off of my chest because I didn't really prove my point the way that I wanted to on my uh, religion video that I made a few days ago, and of course, it got a lot of dislikes. So here right now, I'm going to try to give my full-on opinions of religion and my actual true opinions of this shit. Now, I know this is going to piss off a lot of people. Now, I had a feeling that there's a lot of people who would agree, but apparently there's still the majority of people are still, you know, hooked up and brainwashed by religion and brainwashed by these false ideologies. But, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. So... In this video, I'm going to try to explain exactly my stances on my beliefs on religion and why I don't take it seriously and why nobody should take it seriously. So anyways, let me just get it started. So one of the main reasons for why I think that all religions are bullshit is because there is absolutely no evidence of any of these religions being true. So how can anybody believe in a religion to the point where nobody can convince them otherwise when there's absolutely no evidence of anything of what they're saying is being true? All religion is, okay, all religion is is just a bunch of people making up, okay, making up their little theories of how they think the universe exists, okay, and how they think the universe was created, and then they're just spreading that ideology with there's absolutely no proof of any of it, and just spreading it to as many people as possible, and a bunch of mindless people who don't think for themselves and who don't have self-awareness get stooped into that ideology, and then they begin to believe it, and they're indoctrinated. That's why if you go to different parts in the world, it's different types of delusions, because their ancestors are the ones who created that ideology for that specific area. That's why there's different religions. So at the end of the day, there's no proof and no evidence of any of this existing. So how can anybody look at it and actually look at it as a fact, let alone it is it goes beyond the realms of delusion. Now, I know a lot of people are going to take it from, with a grain of salt, but at the end of the day, the, per, the actual definition, the true definition of a delusion is believing in something that goes against the realms of reality. So I know there's going to be a lot of people like, oh, religion can't be disproven by science. You can't say that delusions do not, I mean, you can't say that re this religion is not true. But at the end of the day, you can't say that anybody who has any type of delusion, you can't say that they're not true. You can't say that those delusions aren't true. They're just not likely and they go against the realms of reality. If somebody believes that, you know, people who end up in psych wards or whatever, if they believe in this type of delusion where they think that this is happening to them, you can't really disprove it. But at the end of the day, you're not going to believe it because it's a bunch of bullshit and it's just their psycho psychosis and it goes against reality. And that's all delusion is. It is just an organized form of delusion, okay, that goes against reality. Okay, it just goes against reality, okay? You can't just make up a bunch of shit and just put it in a fucking book, which is commonly used in religion. You can't just put it in a fucking book and just throw it out there and just expect people to believe that shit and expect those people to believe that shit not be indoctrinated by a bunch of bullshit. It's honestly just ridiculous. So the Bible, anything, the Quran, whatever you want to call it, at the end of the day, it is just a delusion because everything that they're saying and pressing on is fact it goes against the realms of reality. How can somebody from 6,000 years ago have everything figured out about the entire universe and somehow know everything about the supernatural force that's God? How can they just believe in that shit? How can they just know all of the fucking answers? You have to be an idiot. You have to be a mindless fool to actually believe in that shit. So that's one of the main points of why I think religion is bullshit. So another reason for why I think religion is bullshit is because regardless of what religion, okay, what faith that you take in, at the end of the day, either one religion exists and one of them is actually true, which again, it's all highly unlikely, considering the fact that again, how can God, okay, exist and, and well, how can God be exi exist within the realms of a religion, but only inhabit one planet when he controls the entire universe, let alone how do you know all these answers, nobody knows all these answers, so at the end of the day, religion has to be bullshit, but other than that, it's either one religion is actually true, which has to be a miracle, okay? People talk about religion, be, things being miracles, but at the end of the day, it has to be a serious miracle for even one religion to be true. But even if it, that actually happens, which is a very, 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 very low percent chance of happening, at the end of the day, if one religion exists, all the other ones have to be fake. Unless when we die, we go into a subjective, different kind of reality. Everyone goes to a different kind of reality and there's no objective objectivity when it comes to afterlife, which pretty much disproves religion if we actually go under that ideology. But at the end of the day, it's either one religion exists 
and all the other ones are fake and all the other ones are false or all of the religions are false, all of the religions are bullshit or all of the religions are bullshit and there's a different kind of religion that we do not know about yet. At the end of the day, and, 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 and when it comes to religion in general, there's a bunch of subsets to religion. Like Christianity, there's a bunch of fucking subsets to it, which is Catholicism, you know, Jehovah's Witness, Presbyterian, whatever the fuck they call it. There's a bunch of different kinds of belief systems, so that just lowers the chances of it there actually being a religion that's actually true. So at the end of the day, what is the point of that shit? How can they determine the afterlife? At the end of the day, only one of them exists or all of the ones are fake. It is just fucking ridiculous. So that's fucking it. So again, as I said, you cannot believe in a religion without being delusional if you're just going to fully accept it as a fact. But another reason, again, is as I said, I can just create a fucking religion right now and just get a fucking book. Okay, just write a fucking book on how I think existence works and then just get as many people to believe in it. That's the advantage people had back then to where they can indoctrinate those amounts of people. But anybody can just create a fucking religion, okay? There's no evidence of any of it being true, so how can you mindlessly accept it, and why is it so widely accepted when it's just basically a delusion, okay? Delusion is supposed to be a medical condition. It's not supposed to be something that people practice as if it's true, but somehow it's normalized, but it's honestly fucking ridiculous. But as I said on the other point, another point for why I think religion is bullshit is this is more of like going into the people who believe in religion is that the way that God is portrayed in religions go against goes against the actual common belief of how God actually is in the way that he's portrayed in, in a religion. So let me just take Christianity, for example, since we're in the Western culture, the United States, the pr predominant religion is Christianity. But here's the thing, okay? It is just fucking ridiculous. At the end of the day, I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for saying this, but the way that God is portrayed in the Bible is the same exact way that most people perceive the devil as, okay? And here's what I mean. Here's what I mean by that shit, okay? Here's what I mean by that shit, okay? God is literally one fucking sided, okay? If you, according to the Bible, if you do not abide by every little thing that he wants from you, if you don't abide by every little thing that he wants from you, if you're not a believer, if you commit all these plethora of sins that we know for a fact that most people are committing, okay? If you don't abide by any of that shit, he's gonna throw you in hell. For the rest of eternity. And a lot of dumb, ridiculous Christians justify this as this being an act of love. But at the end of the day, the way that God is portrayed in the Bible, he's portrayed as an evil fucking maniac. Okay, he's, he's portrayed as an evil fucking maniac. Why would you want someone to fully accept and fully abide by? Why would you want someone to have someone, you know, fully abide by everything that they want from you? And completely conform to everything that they want from you. And if you do one little thing wrong, he's going to throw you in hell for the rest of eternity. Why would, why would, they, why would you uh, abide by a God that does that? Okay, that's literally just like Hitler. That's literally Hitler-esque. If you, you know, were everything that Hitler wanted you to be, he would give you every. He would pretty much put you in a metaphorical heaven. But if you are not what Hitler wanted you to be, he'll throw you in a fucking concentration camp. Okay, that's literally exactly what God is. God is literally Hitler. God is literally the devil in the way that he's portrayed in the Bible. And a lot of people are brainwashed by that fucking fact. But it is just ridiculous. And a lot of people are so ignorant they can't even read the goddamn thing and realize all the bullshit that's in it. Another thing I forgot to mention about this is that this just incites fear in people. It's literally just like a dictatorship. So I think the people who did write the Bible are people who try to gain authoritarian control. They're basically trying to control the minds of the people. That's what they were trying to do with religion. So it is just a fear-mongering fear-based fucking ideology. That's what all I see the Bible as. That's all I see God is masquerading as something that's all-knowing, all-loving, and all-powerful. But how can God be all-knowing, all-loving, and all-powerful when he is this fucking evil and one-sided? That's like all of the fucking Nazi propaganda saying that Hitler was such a great person. But at the end of the day, he was destroying millions of people's lives just because they not did not abide by everything that he did. So how is God any different in the terms of the ways betrayed in the Bible, in the terms of the way that he makes people burn in hell for eternity, just for disagreeing with them, okay? It is literally the same exact shit. It is just authoritarian control. It's basically a dictatorship and it's just used to incite fear. Next. And the last reason for why I think religion is bullshit and shouldn't be practiced is because if you are an open-minded person who thinks for yourself, you would not rely on a false ideology that was created thousands of years ago without any proof of any of it existing. You will not allow that faith. You will not allow that religion to... 
define your reality and define the afterlife. Okay, if you are an actually real thinking person, you would draw to your own conclusions. Okay, you would draw your own conclusions on your belief systems and you would be a true skeptic and not just fall into something that potentially might not even be true. Like me, for example, okay, I do not follow any type of religion because I think it's all outdated bullshit. It's all an outdated delusion. So if you're an actually open-minded person, you would be more like, you know, coming up with your own theories of why you think God exists or anything that happens in the afterlife, but at the same time, not accepting it as fully being true because you can never really know for sure. So believing in a religion, you're basically abiding by someone else's, you know, creation of reality, not creation, but someone else's theory of reality that may not even be true and can just be a bunch of fucking bullshit with absolutely no evidence. So at the end of the day, if you believe in a religion, you're basically believing in a delusion and you are a brainwashed zombie, okay? You are a brainwashed person who has been indoctrinated into believing something that's not even fucking true. And that's basically the route that most people take. So I know for a fact that a lot of people are going to dislike this video because they do not know, okay? These people are too brainwashed to actually think they have too much of an emotional connection to a certain religion to where they cannot accept objectivity. They cannot accept the other side of the spectrum. And at the end of the day, they cannot accept reality, okay? They cannot accept the reality because that's all religion is. Religion goes against reality because there's no way that one single few fucking people can just answer all the questions about the entire universe. If you are open-minded, you would know for a fact that religion as a whole is unrealistic and it is just a bunch of fucking bullshit with absolutely no evidence, okay? If you were an actual open-minded person, you would draw your own conclusions. You wouldn't stoop in and fall in to someone else's conclusion that is just trying to manipulate you and use you for fucking money. If you were an open-minded person, you would use your own conclusion and draw your own fucking conclusions without relying on any type of already pre-existing belief system, okay? If you were an open-minded person, you would draw your own conclusions with yourself and be independent-minded. People who are religious are not independent-minded. They're dependent-minded and they're brainwashed and they use a fucking book that was written thousands of years ago with many of fucking contradictions, which is obviously not edited, and they use that to determine their reality. It is just fucking ridiculous, but I know a lot of people won't grasp the mentality I am, I am in because I have a more advanced mentality than most of the people who believe in religion. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comment section of this shit. It is your boy, The Sauce Medics. Talk all the shit you want, but at the end of the day, I am spreading common sense, enlightenment, and facts. It's your boy, The Sauce Medics. I'm checking the fucking out of your peace.